Greetings, everybody. I'm Keith, the host of 30 Second Sci-Fi here at uh, 50th Street Studio. I have a special little thing to tell you about here. It's something I came across uh, two Saturdays ago when I hosted a watch through of the Little Shop of Horrors uh, 1960 film by Roger Corman. Uh, I did some reading about it. We, if you didn't see that, you should go back and look at it. I'll include a link. Uh, we spent a lot of time uh, talking about the film as we watched it. And uh, I did some reading about uh, how the film came about and about the author, the, the man who wrote the screenplay, his name was Charles B. Griffith. And one thing I didn't know about him is that he played the burglar in the film, the, the man with the gun who gets eaten by the plant. He also wrote uh, Death Race 2000, uh, by the way. <laughs> uh, there was some speculation by the people who wrote the Wikipedia entry on the film here that he was influenced by are possibly influenced by three different uh, science fiction short stories. Number one, uh, something called Green Thoughts, a 1932 story by John Collier. And uh, also two uh, other stories, one from 1905 by H.G. Wells called The Flowering of the Strange Orchid and a 1956 story by uh, Arthur C. Clarke called The Reluctant Orchid. The H.G. Wells story and the Arthur C. Clarke stories are both uh, easily found online, and I'll include uh, links below. The H.G. Wells story from 1905 is uh, nothing special and nothing, uh, nothing that you wouldn't expect. It's about a, uh, uh, an eccentric Victorian man who collects plants, and he finds an unusual bulb uh, at the market one day that he brings home, and his housekeeper, who is also his cousin and his uh, most a trusted uh, confidant. Uh, she finds him one day in the uh, in the greenhouse with uh, vines all over him that are stuck to his flesh, and she pulls them off of him and saves his life. The end. And then the Arthur C. Clarke story from 1956 directly references the H.G. Wells story. It starts with an eccentric uh, Englishman who collects plants. He finds an unusual bulb, and uh, as he starts to grow it, he says to himself, hey, maybe this is like that H.G. Wells story. He actually names H.G. Wells and directly references the story. Well, the woman in this particular take on the story is his domineering and horrid aunt, whom he despises. This is unusual for an Arthur C. Clarke story in that it has a woman as a major character. The, the most conspicuous thing about women in Arthur C. Clarke stories is that they're entirely absent. He, just, he generally just doesn't include women. Uh, but in this case, Clark is doing a variation on H.G. Wells' story, so he includes uh, a close relative of, of the eccentric plant collector. Anyway, this story takes a left turn, which I did not expect, and it's very much worth reading. Uh, again, there's a link below. Now, I was unable to find the uh, John Collier story online. I did find it in this, The Haunted Omnibus, it's a 1937 anthology of horror stories. This is a 1965 edition that I have here. And it took about a week uh, to, to get to me, and it was very much worth the trouble and the expense. It's one of the most unusual stories I've ever read, one of the most uh, horrific. <laughs> and it's such a short story. It's only 16 pages long. I cannot tell you anything about it without spoiling it. So, uh, since it's not available online, I made scans of the pages and put together a PDF of it. There's a link below, which you should read. I will say this about the story. The original Little Shop of Horrors film from 1960 ends in a certain way. and If you've not seen it, you should go watch it. This John Collier story actually picks up where the movie leaves off the point at which the movie leaves you wondering how does this work what's happening here and if you've seen the movie and you know the way it ends and you're hearing me say this you're you're thinking to yourself what in the world is he talking about how could that possibly be yeah this is a weird story and if you're anything like me you will really like it and i'm talking to you becky That's it for this episode. Look for my next video where I will talk about more science fiction 
and please become a sponsor. Follow the link on screen here and in the description below where you can make a monthly pledge or a one-time donation. Thank you.